Hello everyone, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching World of Sensors. In this lesson, we will move on to the next sensor. It's a pretty interesting sensor called Rotary Angular Sensor. It's a pretty interesting stuff, guys. This is widely used in robotics and IoT and automation and stuff. So, you know, so what is a rotary angle sensor? The rotary angle sensor basically produces analog output between zero and the VCC. VCC is nothing but your positive uh, terminal between zero voltage to the maximum voltage which is, which is 5 volt DC uh, with regards to Arduino UNO right on its D1 connector so basically we can use uh, uh, you know the D1 connector or any other connector as well the D2 connector is basically not used but we can also modify the circuit as it is needed the angular range of this sensor is basically 300 degrees with a linear change in the value like this like a you know like a volume control with a linear change 300 degree not 360 it's up to 300 degree right the resistance value is approximately about 10 kilo ohms which is perfect for you know arduino bolts right this may also be known as a potentiometer or a variable resistor or you can call it as a rotary angular sensor there is also another product which is called you know a rotary angle sensor p which is basically from the grove kit which i am using though from from seed studio a grove kit right so what does p means p is for panel mount basically you can mount it on the panel right it is the sister version of the grow rotary angle sensor so basically both are same guys you you buy a potentiometer which has got three different pins you buy uh, you know the grow uh, the socketed version of angular sensor which is actually the same so they are pretty much identical as you can see in the picture above me and the grow connector is moved to the back so that you can easily use it as a neat uh, you know uh, finishing when you are mounting it on your robot or any other application so what we need to do is you need to connect the angular sensor to a0 port of of the expansion board and also connect one led to d3 port instead of led you may use a buzzer or, or any other sensor which i will show you at the later stage we will be building some complex projects as well for now connect the led and i will show you how to make the sensor reading work all right so let's move on to my uh, circuit i will show you how it looks like so this is how this is your uh, rotary angular sensor right this is nothing but your potentiometer or you can also call it as a variable resistor which you can rotate and change the variable resistance right so i can as you can see the led which is connected to d3 port the brightness increases and decreases as i rotate the angle of the sensor so guys it's like your volume control knob increase and decrease the speed of your fan or the brightness of the led and kind of thing so how it works so there are ton about 10 15 lines of code so connect the led to d3 port here this is the d3 port if you can see very closely this is the d3 your led sensor is connected here and your you know rotary angular switch is connected to a0 port here you can see a0 next to a1 this is a0 okay and then what we need to do once this is connected obviously you need to go to my github so let's move on to my github account if you go to my github scroll down to the bottom first you need to go to the correct section arduino sensor projects this is the section you need to go and then scroll down to the bottom rotary angle sensor dot ino this is the file this is the code file go ahead and click that and then go to raw and then control a select all then copy and come to your arduino ide so this is your entire code so there are explanations for each line of code you can refer to those you can understand try to understand it if you don't understand you can obviously reach out to me i will be glad to take some classes for you guys and then go to tools go to tools arduino uno you need to select the board from uh, avr boards that is arduino uno 
and then go to the com port my com port is com6 so yours might be different right all right and then click the upload button here which is a right arrow key once you click upload check the terminal monitor right you can see here let me just close this and open it again and there you go the angle between the mark and the starting position let me change the angle here of my rotary angular switch there you go it's changing the angle 278 to 90 300 it's up to 300 let me just change it again and there you go and i can see my led brightness increases now it is totally zero so the brightness of the led is also zero and you can see the angle also is showing zero now let me change the angle the brightness of the led increases and the angle goes up to 300 which is the maximum right 200 224 247 287 300 and this is the maximum brightness which you saw let me just uh, switch it over to my circuit so that you guys can see what i'm doing right apart from this you guys just saw the serial uh, terminal now you can see the led here this is the led right now if i change the angle obviously the brightness reduces it becomes zero so the angular reading is absolutely at a zero position and the led is almost dead right now if i change the angular position see here can you see the brightness increases and now let me make it to 300 at the max that is the maximum value cool there you go so guys i hope you understood how the concept of uh, angular variance works using the variable resistor or you can also call it as a potentiometer you can call it as an angular reading sensor so whatever you name it but end of the day the job is the same i will see you soon in the next lesson goodbye